Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Today I'm going to show you how to take a door panel off. This is a 2003 Toyota RAV4. This method works for a 2001 to 2005 Toyota RAV4. And we're also going to fix the common problem where the key doesn't work to lock or unlock the door. You can see on the screen there's eight red circles around the edge of the door. Those are clips that you're going to need to take off. It'd be good if you had a panel clip remover. It'll make it a lot easier for yourself and you won't break as many panel clips. This door handle here has two screws and to get that off you have to pry this out underneath. For the power window switch you want to get a flathead screwdriver with a piece of tape on it like this so that you don't damage the panel or anything and you're going to pry from up here. In the door handle area you can see there's a little panel clip right there that you're just going to pop off and then you're going to get to a screw in there. You're going to use your flathead screwdriver up here, pop that off and then you have a bolt right here and then you'll get the whole door panel off. So let's begin. We'll start with this door handle here. Just slide in the screwdriver here at the bottom and pry upwards until it pops out like that. Good. And then just pull all the way up. Just like so. Pop this out. Now you have access to your two Phillips head screws. Good. And that one's unscrewed, it just doesn't want to come out, so we'll just leave it there. This one's pretty simple, you just go in here, pop that out. Now you have access to the screw in there. So now just unscrew that screw that's back there. This speaker right up here, just get in here. This pops right out as well. For this, I'm going to use a lot smaller and thinner screwdriver because it's a really tight gap in here. And once you get under here, get your thicker one, and there's a metal clip right here. And as you push forward against that clip, you're going to take your finger and pry this upwards. And then that pops up, and now you just take this, and this will come right out, like so. Now we're going to remove this wiring harness, so there's a tab right here that you press down. Good. Get your flathead screwdriver to remove this screw. Just pops it out like that. Now you can use just a flathead screwdriver on this, but I would use panel clip pliers. You're gonna have three panel clips here and then a bunch along the bottom. So I'm just using a flathead screwdriver with tape on it and get in here. Then I could see where the clip is on the side, which is right there. And then you just use the panel clip pliers. Pop that open. Should be another one right here. Pop that open, the bottom one popped open too. Now we'll just go along the bottom here. These mostly popped open as it is. So now we need to take the door handle and lock bezel off. What you want to do is get your screwdriver in between the door handle and the bezel, right below the middle of the lock. And just keep your fingers under there and do the same thing for the top. So right in between the middle of the lock, just like that. And that'll come right out. Now you just take the whole door panel, you lift it up a little bit, give it a wiggle, and it'll come right out. So now you could do whatever you want to do on the interior of the door panel. So I'm just peeling this off. You just grab it from the glue, try not to rip the plastic. So the problem was whenever you would put the key in and try to turn the key, nothing would happen. The door wouldn't unlock. So if we go behind the door here, you can see there's this piece of metal that's loose here and it attaches to this. It just needs to get clipped into here and that fixes that problem. So to fix this, just straighten this out like this. And you wanna just clip that in there like that and that should hold. So now you'll see when you turn the key, now this completely works. So now the key function will work. This is a common problem on Toyota RAV4s, driver side door specifically, and now we can put the door panel back together. So after you're done fixing whatever you want to fix, in this case we fixed the door lock, so when you put the key in it'll actually lock the door and open it. You want to put this back on. This has this special glue, uh, it's actually a little bit heat sensitive, so if it's hot out it should be pretty sticky, which it is, but if it's cold out you might want to add a little bit of heat. Now we'll take our door, on the top part of the door there's these holders that hold the door in like this, on the top of the door right here. So you want to get these holders on first so then you could align everything and screw everything in. Put your connector in here, lift the door up, 
push it against the window a little bit. Just like so. Now we're gonna go on the side. I'm gonna make sure our clips are aligned and then just pop it in. You'll hear them snap. Good. Now there's no particular order you need to go in. We'll get our door handle bezel on. That just goes in like this. Get this part in first and then push this in. Good, that clicks in like that. Now you'll have these screws left. The short metal one goes in here. Snug that up. And then all you do is you take this tab and that clicks in just like that. Make sure that you have your wiring harness out so that you don't have to like go digging through here. Now we're gonna do our buttons for the windows and the locks. So this just slides in. Make sure it clicks like that. You can see there's a plastic clip back here, so you get that in first. And here is that metal clip I was talking about before that you have to push with the screwdriver. You just get that in like that. Now we have our two door screws. One I told you was stuck in here before. It popped out when I took the door out. So just get that, and that slides right in, and screw it in. Snug it down. You don't have to over tighten these. The door's not going anywhere. Get that bottom one in. Snug that down. Now we have our molding, and you can see it's just a bunch of plastic clips that pops in. So you want to get it even all around. Just like so, and just press. Good. Now we have our last screw. It's this little plastic screw. Pretty simply goes in here like this. Just press it in and turn it a little bit. I actually don't even think you need to turn it. I think it's more of just a press in screw. And our last thing is the speaker cover here. That just goes on like that. And pop that in. So this is how you remove a door panel from a 2001 to 2005 Toyota RAV4. In this case, we fixed the lock that wasn't unlocking or locking, but with the door panel removed, you could fix whatever needs fixing, like the window regulator, power locks, or a speaker. If the tips and tricks in this video were helpful to remove your door panel, remember to give the video a thumbs up, and if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. On the screen will be other how-to videos. You could click on the screen, or you could find the links to those videos in the description, along with the links to the Chris Fix Facebook and Twitter pages. Check it out.